Right, so this is the second video of the week. You should have already watched the expanding brackets video. Uh, today's going to be really, really similar. We're going to be using our same motto that we used last time. But today our title is going to be expanding double brackets. Now, our motto last time, if you remember, was draw lines and multiply. And we're going to be using the same motto today. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to write that again. You can't write that too many times. It's really, really, um, absolutely crucial. So if I could find a pink pen that's going to work. There we go. Um, so I'm going to write draw lines and multiply. It's really important that that is fresh in our mind because that is the motto that we're going to be using uh, today. Um, same, as, same as last lesson. So if we just quickly flip back to what we did last time, we looked at brackets like this. So they had a number outside or a number and a letter. Uh, and our job was to get rid of the brackets. That's what expanding meant. It meant get rid of the brackets. So that's what we were doing last time. Now today we're going to be looking at brackets uh, that kind of come in pairs. So we're going to have double brackets. So we're going to have brackets that look something like this. So it might be like an x plus 2 and an x plus 3. So last time we only had one pair of brackets. This time we've got two pairs of brackets like that. But our motto... Um, is still the same. We're still going to be drawing lines and multiplying. But this time we're going to have to draw four lines. If you think back to last time we only drew two lines, this time we're drawing four lines. So we're going to start with this x here and we're going to draw a line from that x to that x. So the first thing in this bracket to the first thing in this bracket. Now, see if you can remember what an x times an x was from last time. We've got an x, and because I'm doing 1x times 1x, I've got two of them, so I put a squared. Anything times by itself is going to be a squared. So I've got an x times x, which gives me x squared. And then I need to do x times 3. So I'm going to have two lines from the x, because the x has to multiply with the x, and the x has to multiply with the 3. Now, what symbol have I got? I've got a plus, so I'm going to put plus. Now, x times 3. It's the same as 3 times x, which is 3x. And then I've got 2 times x. So I've finished with my x now. I've done the first one with the first one, and I've done the x with the last one. So now I need to do the 2. So notice that I do these lines underneath. So I've got a plus. So I do 2 times x, which I'm going to write as 2x. And then I need to do 2 times 3, which is 6. So I'm going to put plus 6. Now, so that is trickier than last time. I can't really hide that or deny that. That is certainly trickier than it was last time. But what you, what you might notice now is that I can do a little bit of tidying up. Now, last lesson, when we got to an answer, there was nothing we could do. We had to stop. But now, this answer can be tidied up a little bit. Now, how many things have I got that have got a squared? Well, I've only got this thing, so I can't do anything with that. That x squared is going to have to stay the same. I can't put him with anything. But look here, I've got a 3x plus a 2x. So I've got 3x's here and 2x's here. So in total... I've got five x's. Yeah, if you've got three cats here and two cats here, or you've got five cats. And then I've got a plus six. And I don't have any other numbers, just numbers. So the six is going to have to stay. And that then is my final answer. Okay? So this is definitely trickier than what we were doing last time. But hopefully, if I do a few, you'll get the hang of it. So let's have a look at another one. x plus four times x plus 5. Let's have a look at this one. So I'm going to do x times x. Now remember what x times x gives us. That gives us an x squared. And then I'm going to do x times 5. And because I've got pluses everywhere, I'm going to put plus and then x times 5 gives me 5x. And then I've got to do the 4 times the x. So I'm going to do 4 times x, which is 4x. 
and then I need to do the 4 times the 5. 4 times 5, 20. So you'll always get four what we call terms, four bits of the answer, and then you'll be able to tidy it up. So I've only got one thing with a squared, so he stays the same, and then I've got a 4x and a 5x, well then I've got 9x in total, haven't I? If you've got five of something and you get another four, you've got nine of them, and then I've got a plus 20 on the end that just has to stay there, there's nothing I can do to that. Right, let's look at one more, and then I reckon you can have a go. So let's look at um, let's look at something a little bit trickier. Two x plus three times x plus two. Now, do exactly the same. Our motto of draw lines and multiply is still true. So I'm going to do two x times x. Well, I've got an x times x, which I know is going to give me an x squared. And then I've got a 2 times, well, what number is in front of this x? There's a secret 1 hiding in there. So I do 2 times 1, which is just 2. So the first term then is going to be 2x squared. And then I'm going to do 2x times 2. What's 2x times 2? Well, I do 2 times 2, which gives you 4. And then you've got 1x to deal with. So 4x. And now we need to do 3 times 1x. We'll do 3 times 1, which is 3. And then we've got 1x to deal with. And then I've got 3 times 2, which is 6. Right, let's try and tidy it up. Well, I've only got one thing with a squared, so he has to stay by himself. And then I've got a 4x and a 3x. So I've got four of something and I get another three of something. So that's seven of these x's. And then I've got a plus six that's just gonna have to hang around on the end. Right, so that is quite tricky. I'm gonna write worksheet two. So if you want to stop here, feel free and you can do worksheet two. I will though just do one more example for those of you who are still uh, finding this a little bit tricky. So I'll do one more example um, and then I'll leave you alone. So let's do 3x plus 4 times 2x plus, let's go crazy, 10. So 3x plus 4 times 2x plus 10. Now that looks really complicated, but you know what? We're going to use exactly the same method. So draw lines and multiply. So from the 3x to the 2x. Well, let's do 3 times 2, which is 6. And then I've got an x times x, which is x squared. And then I need to do 3x times 10. Well, do 3 times 10, which is 30. And then you've got 1x to deal with. So we'll just put an x. And it's a plus because I've got pluses in my brackets. And then I've got 4 times 2x. 4 times 2 is 8. And I've got 1x to deal with. I've got one more line to draw from 4 to 10. 4 times 10 is 40. So you'll notice that they look the same every time. You have two, um, two lines up here. Some people say it's like eyebrows and chins. Yeah, you've got two lines up here and you've got two lines down here. And then we need to tidy it up. We've got one thing with a squared, so that's 6x squared. How many x's have I got? Well, I've got 30 of them here and then I get another 8. So now I've got 38 of these things. And then I've got a plus 40 that just has to hang around on the end. Please get in touch if that's not making any sense and you'd like some more help. I'm more than happy to help. Um, but otherwise, I look forward to receiving your work when you send it to me. Bye.